afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the set of the Tanya Joy Show. We are happy to see you. For those of you that are new, I'm going to pull up our QR code. I always say R or we, which is, I got to get out of that because as all of you know, it's me. Uh, there's nobody else. <laughs> this show is me. So anyway, here's my QR code. Check that out. That'll take you to all my links. It'll take you to the website. You can find out more about what I'm doing over there at tanyajoy.tv for those of you that are just listening and don't have access to uh, scan that QR code. But if you're new, feel free to do that. That's just going to get you some more information about me and the backstory and how I got here, quite frankly. Um, And do me a favor, hit like, share, subscribe, follow, whatever it is that you're watching us on, uh, because it does help the algorithms, even though, you know, I'm not really one who's big into pushing all of that. It does help the algorithms, which then allows more people to find us, which is a wonderful thing. You're not going to want to miss today's show, okay? You're going to have fun, laughter, excitement. You're also going to be encouraged. I've got a great guest. Many of you probably know him because he has a very big following, Josh Mancuso. He's hysterical. And you want to stick around because we're going to play a clip, maybe two, of some of his work. Um, He's a comedian and actor. You're going to love it. So stick around. We are glad to see you here today. We will be right back. I'm Tanya Joy, and this is The Tanya Joy Show. Okay, well, we weren't shocked. Now, welcome back to the show. You as well, I'm so excited to have you both on the show. And I know we had such good uh, feedback and reception. General Flynn, what an jo- honor. Joshua, Joshua tracked me down in a big tent of about 4,000 people. How are you? I am doing so great. Hello, everybody. Thank God, I am wonderfully great. Hello. Thank you very much. Because what is prayer? I'm just Jewish, you know what I mean? And I'm thrilled to be here with the two of you. <laughs> Me too. It's like- and that's who these crazies, these evil ones. It is. You said it oh, right. Good job. Perfect. All right. The Gibson sisters. We are so excited to have them on with us on Resistance Chicks today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise. These people that get higher up, how sometimes I've thought well, these are glory days and not gloomy days. Like I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it kind of works. It works. Awesome about the tour is people like you. Good. I love the applause. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Thank Hi, Joy. You. Everybody, welcome. We are so excited. You ready to get the show on the road? Let's go. All right, welcome back, everybody. Before we get started, I want to mention our sponsor for the show today, Cardio Miracle. They are awesome. It's a very easy product. It's it comes in a powder. You scoop it. You put it into your water. Shake it up, and you're good to go. Each serving has a combination of over 50 high quality ingredients. There's fruits, vegetables, amino acids, and herbs, all of which come together to promote your body's ability to produce nitric oxide. And if you don't know what that is, it's a very important thing for heart health. It helps to relax and dilate your blood vessels, which then supports blood flow and circulation. Um, As I mentioned, it's so easy to use, you know, stick it in one of your water bottles, shake it up and you're good to go. You're going to find an increase in energy levels. It's going to provide mental clarity and so much more. And for my viewers, you can use our code B number four, A, that stands for beauty for ashes. That was what the show was originally called, just so you know. Um, But if you use that over at cardiomiracle.com, you're going to get a discount for my viewers only. So check them out, cardiomiracle.com, promo code B, 4A. And later on, you'll see a commercial with some testimonials. All right. Today, we've got Josh Mancuso. He's an award-winning actor, comedian, filmmaker. He is known for his viral comedy videos. Okay. And we're going to show you some of those centered around sports, especially college football. He's been featured on ESPN and CBS Sports, and he recently launched his own show called The Josh Mancuso Show, which features guests such as Kirk Herbstreet, Cooper Manning, and Walker Zimmerman. I love this because what he says is he lives by the six F words. Now, these are not bad words, okay? I, I want That's why I think this is hysterical. He lives by faith, freedom, family, filmmaking, football, and fitness. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong. So let's welcome Josh on in. 
How are you today? Hello, Tanya. I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I love the accent. You do accents too? That's even <laughs> yes, better. I don't know what that is. I've not named it yet, but it's I something. I think it's British. Maybe a little bit British. Maybe like a little bit of, British. Well, I'm not very good at my British accent. I'm going to oh, stop no. right now. No, I think that's good. I also love to do Jersey. I do a show called Coffee Talk, and every now and then I do Coffee Talk with Esther, and it's all a big to do. And that's a really fun one, too. That is so good. That is really good. I am jealous. That's epic. Wow. <laughs> My only real accent I can do is a country accent because it just takes what, I'm, what I already am and just magnify it a little bit. So a little bit of redneck, you know. But that's a good, I can't do that one. That's a really good, <laughs> that's what like typical middle America country. Yeah, yeah, it's a not it's Dallas, a, not Georgia. That's right. Yeah, that's this is really good. This is, this is Tennessee. It's East Tennessee, Tennessee right here. You see, I love it. Oh, uh, it's so great. You are hysterical. I have to just say, I was watching some of your clips before the show, and I was dying. I was like, these are so <laughs> awesome. I love comedy, so you know, it's right up my alley. I just love it. How did you? Before we get into this. How did you get started with this? Like, have you always just been funny? Like, how did you? start making videos and actually start making these comedy reels. Didn't they? Tell us your backstory. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, um, I didn't wake up and say, Hey, I want to, uh, I want to make videos on social media. You know, <laughs> it was like, I didn't decide to do that, but, um, I, uh, living in, in East Tennessee as an, as an actor, as a comedian, somebody who's, who's been kind of pursuing this career, like now, Tennessee is a great place to live, but Northeast Tennessee in a little small town, it's not really like an entertainment hotbed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not like a whole lot yeah. of uh, action happening there. So um, I decided I kind of got to make my own way, you know, like I'm going to um, start making my own content and trying to write and act and just put myself out there, which is what social media has allowed me to do and a lot of other people to do. Uh, so it's kind of like my own little audition tape, you know, of, um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe I'm, maybe I can do this. Um, but yeah, I always knew that, well, I always knew I was funny. I always thought I was funny. Uh, not That's always. half the battle. I mean, you got, it, it doesn't matter if other people always think you're funny. If you think you're funny, that's half the battle. I think as long as I'm laughing, I'm like, I'm exactly. having, fun. I don't know if other people are laughing, but I'm having a great time. Exactly. So, uh, you know, like as a kid, I was always trying to make girls laugh. Right. That was my, that was my way in. Uh, with the girls was being funny. And um, even now I'm married and have kids. Like I'm always trying to make my family laugh. And I think that uh, is sort of an escape for me. It's just my thing. I love to to be funny. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to lean into this. Um, Cause I, you know, I've got these aspirations of being a serious actor, right. Dramatic actor. And I think, uh, and I've done some of that and I think I will do it, but what comes natural is just being funny. So funny. Mm -hmm. just leveraging that and just being stepping into that and, and taking mm -hmm. hold of it and doing it. So I started making the videos online. And, when did you and, start that? When did you, you start? Know, when you put your first one up. I started like tinkering with it in like 2019, 2020, just like yeah. a little bit to see if, you know, if anybody was watching, would, would watch and, yeah. um, you know, it was okay. And then uh, in 2021 is when I really kind of started putting some stuff, stuff out there. People were watching and they, and they yeah. liked it. And then, uh, 2022 is when I went at it like full time. So, um, stopped everything else I was doing and just said, I'm only doing this. Wow. And so what were now, you doing? Like, what were you doing before? Well, I was doing video production, but I was on the other side of the cameras behind oh, the camera. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's been so nice because I can, I have the skill set to be able to do the, yeah, that's, the technical stuff. Yeah. So that's I was, huge. um, yeah, I was doing videos like local videos for, uh, I, I started out doing weddings years ago. I was doing really? commercials, doing, yeah, all kinds of stuff. And then, so doing, were you, so were you the videographer? Were you the editor? Were you production? What side yes, were you, all of them? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. I had a small staff at one point of like two or three people, uh -huh. um, but it was, it was mainly me doing a lot of it and hiring out some videographers and, and it was great. And I was acting on the side, you know, like just trying to get some traction on that side of things. And eventually a couple years ago, I was able to merge those two worlds and yeah. And, can get it going. Well, it's kind of interesting because it seems like 2019, 2020, you know, kind of that year that the world shifted forever yeah. was also really a kickoff for a lot of people. There's so many yeah. people that I interview that have organizations or groups or ministries or shows or whatever it might be. And they all, that's why I always ask because it always goes back to when did you start that? They maybe were interested in it, but like most of it got kicked off. 2019, 2020, which I just find really fascinating, you know, because I think we've seen a shift. We've seen a shift in Hollywood, obviously, 
And -hmm. because of social media, because people can create their own content, we see that that's, you know, you go to TikTok, you go to Twitter, you go to YouTube, you go to these places and you don't have to go to a movie theater. You can, I mean, you know, you've got hysterical things that are shorts or even longer that you don't need to go to a movie theater. You can go onto YouTube and find them, which is amazing. It is. And it's, there's a, there are so many talented actors, comedians, musicians, singers out there that otherwise would never get a chance, you know, exactly would never get seen um, in an audition or in a film, but they're able to, to make their own way. And that, that's pretty cool. I mean, it is. Yeah. You said Hollywood is changing and has changed and and it is. And, and um, uh, to an extent, we're all kind of creating our own Hollywood, right? We're kind of creating our own path and, and uh, you don't have to live in LA. I'm, I love LA. I'm originally from LA, but I, I, you don't have to live there in New York. You can live anywhere and do it. Yeah. Which is exciting. I mean, these are exciting days. And like you said, I think it's great, especially, you know, I I go back to your six F words, which I think are so funny. Um, But, you know, you've got when you've got your faith and freedom, right? You love America. You love God. And you also love entertainment. Like there's nothing wrong with entertainment. It's wonderful. There's nothing wrong with comedy. I had I actually had a comedian on um, uh, the other day, Jeff Allen. Do you know who Jeff Allen is? I recognize the name. Yeah. He's uh, he's on dry bar. If you saw him, you would recognize him. Right. Cause I'm, I'm not very good with names. And when I first heard his name, I had to like look him up and be like, wait, who is this now? <laughs> um, and you, if you heard his routine, he's hysterical. He does. He's a stand up comedian. And um, also in the Nashville area, go figure right. also yeah. somebody there loves America, but clean, just does clean comedy. And when I had him on, I, I made mention in, in the intro, I was like, you know, the thing is guys, the Bible talks about laughter is good for the soul. It's actually yeah. medicine. Like we've become such a world where things are so dark and there's anything you look at news politically, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. It's dark. It's heavy. Yeah. It's bad news, controversy news, whatever it is, we need laughter. We, we need to bring that back in Amen. to our society. I 100% agree. You, you you nailed it. We need that so bad. Like our world needs that. I, mean, I think, you know, God is a is a creative God in himself. Mm-hmm. Like he is the most creative of uh, that anybody could be. Um, and mm-hmm. so I think we we get that from him. I mean, yeah. um, I think that, that artists and actors and creators, they are, you know, we have a, uh, an important place in the world. And I think God can use us in, in major ways. And we're seeing it now because people are exhausted with uh, the news and with all the drama and with all the right. divisiveness, they want something fun. They just want to be entertained. And I think mm-hmm. that's one thing that's been the most rewarding for me, I think, is just when you think that what you do isn't that important, you know, and, and, um, like I'm just I'm making comedy videos online, like that's not really important. But then you get messages from people who are like, like this world is crazy and I've had a really rough week and I just pulled your videos up and started watching them. And like, and it, I felt better. Like, yeah, and I think that's the escape that I think a lot of us want to provide for, for other people. And it's, uh, it's needed and, and we're doing it. You're doing it. We're all doing it. And, 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 yeah. uh, it's, it's good. It's good for, for our country. It is good. And I, I think, it's kind of good timing and that's how come, I mean, cause you've got a good following and all of that. And I think it's, it's because people need it. They want it. So since we're talking about that, I want to play one of your clips, which I absolutely loved. Um, Hold on though. Let me get it out of full screen and pull this up because I don't have producers. So I got to do this by myself. Um, One woman show just rock doing the whole thing. Exactly. It's a one woman show here, but this is, this video was so funny to me. Um, because my nephews, um, play baseball. And so I saw this one and I was like, this is awesome. This is totally (laughs) what it's like. Uh, my son is 23 now, so it's been a very long time. But I remember when my son, uh, started playing ball, he played football and I think he played one season of baseball, but, um, I was, I'm a theater person, you know, I'm an entertainer. So I showed yeah. up and he's five and I go up to the coach and I'm like, so, uh, what time's intermission? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. That is not what I meant. And my son's like, mom, I'm like, I'm sorry. I I, I don't know sports very well, but anyway, I want to play this cause this is That's hysterical. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys tell me if you can't hear it. All right, parents, listen up. 
congratulations on your son making this elite travel baseball team. Your weekends belong to me. Yeah, uh, what's the name of our team? We're the Thunderbat, Shark Fin, Dirt Devil, Long Bombers. That's like four names. First tournament is a regional in South Florida. Florida. It will cost $27,000 per family. From there, we'll head to Costa Rica and Ecuador for two more tournaments. I didn't know I didn't know a passport was going to be part of it. I don't have a passport. If we win the second tournament, we get an automatic bid into the Travel Baseball National Championship Elite Sectional Silver Bracket. Oh, wow. That'll be amazing. Which is a qualifier for the World Series Travel Baseball International Tournament of Baseball. Where's that? Mumbai. I don't know if we can commit to that much. What's that? That's you don't know, Jeff? It's, it's just I have a job. Well, you have to call in, won't you? Possibly quit. This is your life now. Okay. I don't know if I have enough on my credit card to pay for all this. I don't know if I have to take out a loan, Alan. All right, put a lien on your house. Right, you need bats, gloves, cleats, pants, jerseys, especially jerseys, carts, tents, chairs, speakers. Ooh. This is basically the major leagues. Is it? Okay. All right, here's our roster. Braxton, Jackson, Paxton, Easton, Landon with a Y, Braden, Jaden, Caden, other Braxton, other Jackson, Knox, and Kai. All right? Any questions? I have just a few. Jeff, take a couple laps. We'll do. <laughs> Welcome. Oh my gosh! It's so okay. There's so many great things about that. The <laughs> name part kills me um, yeah. because my sister is in Texas, and those names—that's the whole team. That's when we go to the baseball games, that's every kid. That that is the team. Those are their names. There's probably four Jacksons and Braxtons and all. I mean, that <laughs> was so accurate. And I love that he's like, yeah, twenty seven thousand per. Wait, what? I don't. I don't know if I have enough on my credit card for that. Like, it's just so that's sports for kids today. It is travel sports is wild, and uh, that that was inspired by a couple friends of mine that told me that their kids are in travel sports, and and uh, I've dealt with dance competitions because I have oh, all the daughters. Similar. That's just as bad. In fact, that might be worse. Yeah. I've got I a mean, video coming out. How you gonna do with the dance moms? Are you gonna? You got a video about that one? I got a video coming out in the next couple of weeks. You guys will enjoy that one. I think oh, it'll be good. Oh my gosh! A couple things awesome. about that baseball video. One, I looked really tan. That was great. Where'd that go? Um, I've now impaled, but uh, it's still summertime. I don't know what my problem is. It's so um, it was great. Uh, the names, yeah, a lot of friends. I definitely offended a lot of my friends because uh, their kids are those names. They're like, "You make fun of my kid." I'm like, "Absolutely." I yes, am. I am. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it's great. Um. Yeah, you just never know, like, that video is a great lesson, and you never know what's going to go viral. That's my most watched video. Is now. it really? Yeah, and I just put it out, like, less than a month ago, right? So, Well, um, because it's so accurate. I mean, it's so <laughs> – and I think that parent, you know, you know, we yeah. got to look and laugh. We've got to be able to laugh at ourselves. The reality is the names change over time. I mean, look at, you know, 70 years ago or 50 years ago, it was Karen and – you know, my mom is Bonnie, you know, and you don't hear Bonnie's yeah. very much anymore. And I mean, so that's, that's natural. It's just part of it. And like, we have to make, we have to make light of it. We have to be able to laugh about these things. And especially yeah. like to be able to afford to put your kid in any of this stuff. I mean, you've got to have two working parents and be able to, you know, get a loan on your house. Ultimately. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to be serious. I got to make more videos. I got to make more money just to pay for these right. dance tournaments. Um, exactly. That's it. But that's, you know, we have to laugh at ourselves. Yeah. I mean, like we, like that is, if we, the minute we stop laughing at ourselves and that's, we're, we're done at that yeah. point. We, we got to keep the, the laughter going. Well, and I mean, this is a longer one, so I, I wasn't going to play the whole thing, but I love, <laughs> I love the one you just put out with uh, Manning. Is it Cooper Manning? Oh, Cooper, yeah, yeah. That is, I mean, it's only four minutes. Maybe I'll just play it because that is more serious. It's more, just, I, need, I need more views. Let's play the okay, whole thing. Let's just right. play it. Okay, we're going to just play it because it's, I love that one also. I watched that one because that's your brand new one, I think, right? That just came out, but it's it, yeah. hysterical. Okay, so we're going to play it, guys. It's only four minutes. Y'all be. We're doing it then, right? Manning hour. I mean, Cuso hour. I don't know how to tell you this, but you want to do it. You want to do it? I don't I want to spend any more time with you. We probably have a lot more in common than you think, Cooper. I highly, highly doubt it. Okay, listen, on the count of three, don't even think about it. Just name your favorite animal. Ready? One, two, three. Arctic Puffin. Favorite movie to watch on a rainy day? The Notebook. 
something's happening. And I don't like it. Favorite like 80 it. sitcom. Mr. Mr. Belvedere. Mr. Belvedere, let's go. Charles in charge. Favorite character on The Sopranos. Polly Walnuts. Favorite Manning brother. Eli. Eli. <laughs> if you could trade places with one person, who would it be? Olivia Rodrigo. Are we becoming best friends? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to go eat Benny Hayes with me downtown New Orleans? Yep. You guys dancing your fucking idea and you see that. that <laughs> you know, they're probably like, who's that guy hanging out with Eli Manning? <laughs> you think you look like Eli Manning? <laughs> you get recognized a lot down here? I mean, I'm from here, so it happens. You know, yeah. people don't know what I look like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you Josh Mancuso? Yes, yes, I am. You suck. <laughs> At least you recognize me. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no, no one can talk, talk to a horse, of course. Can I ride on the horse? If we were not here, you could. Hey, I'm Cooper Manning. <laughs> hey, Peyton Manning. Go Vols. Peyton Manning. Okay. You're a Vol fan on Saturday? Vol fan on Saturdays, yeah. And you and the, the, the least favorite team for you is the dogs it's Alabama because everybody that is not Alabama hates Alabama yeah why do you think that is because they win a lot right right two is just because their fans yeah can be the worst what's 504 504 steam engine 504 is his net worth <laughs> if he's looking I can't go we got stage fright. What are these trees here? Is this cactuses? Can we go see? Yeah, yeah, let's go see them. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Are you just carrying around a bunch of $2 bills? Doesn't it make me seem kind of important? Yeah. They stopped making those in the 40s when you were a kid. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends. Everybody loves Everybody Josh. Everybody loves Josh. I am famous. I am famous. I am important. I'm important. And I'm by myself making a jackass I'm of myself, by myself. Jackson Square. Make what? Cooper. Cooper. Lazé, la bon tirole. Yeah. Not bad for a redneck from Tennessee. Yeah, thanks. This is Lafitte's Blacksmith Bar. Yeah. Should we go in here? Yeah. No? Absolutely. Thanks for the beer, Cooper. How excited were you that they carded you? Yeah. <laughs> you hit the big time. Today. Yeah. What's up? How we doing? See, I think uh, this show is destined for greatness. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I've been here for nine hours, and I think I got a feel for it. Yeah. I regret saying this, but I had a good right. time. <laughs> Stick around. You'll regret even more. So I guess that means I'm in officially as the uh, co-host of the Manning Hour. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, yes. That's Excited awesome. for you. It's cool. <laughs> Hey. So silly. Josh Mancuso's I mean, show is brought to you by... Like, everything about it is so funny. Okay, so this is your podcast, your talk show, right? Was that... Yeah. And I don't mean to sound dumb, but that was not your first episode, right? That's just like... Was that the first one with him? That was the first episode. Um, so I did like four episodes where it was truly just a kind of a podcast of me okay. interviewing somebody kind of uh, a little more low-key. Uh -huh. And then we were able to get Renaissance bank on as a sponsor. And so we upped our production and we were able to go get guests like Cooper Manning and wow. some others. So he was our first kind of like main uh, guest. And so it's the first episode in partnership with Renaissance bank. And we got six episodes with them uh, coming. So yeah, it was awesome. So much Cooper's so did, wild. You went to him in, in new Orleans. We did. Yeah. Incredible. Now, yeah. Did, okay. Now I don't, you know, this is like the, the tricks behind the magic. So I'm not trying to expect like, did you do you write your copy? Do you write the script? Yes and no. So with him, I would say, you know, 50% of it was scripted out, but not even met, not even that probably. Most of it was ad libbed. I mean, so I did have he's like really funny an outline. He was I was like beforehand, I was like, you know, I'm gonna roast you, right? And he goes, Oh, I'm gonna roast you even more. I was like, Okay, great. So we just kind of roasted each other and had a good time. And and that was the end of the episode, right? That was like I think the episode like 12 minutes. So I like the last four minutes of the okay. episode. And um, yeah, it's just, he, he was funnier than I imagined. And I mean, we've talked before, like we know each other a little bit, but I didn't know him that well. So 
Um, I didn't know he was going to be that funny. But man, yeah, he was really funny. I didn't know that they. I didn't. I, are they all that funny, or is, is he the I funny think one? They're I all that know. funny. I've I've met Peyton once. I don't never met uh, Eli, but uh, they're all funny guys. You see all of Peyton's commercials and stuff, you know. Oh yeah, that's um, true. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. That was really so. What is your favorite thing of all the you know whether it's the short comedy blips, this kind of a thing, your serious acting? What what is yeah. what is your favorite thing that you get that you've done so far or that you mo enjoy most? You know, I mean, I would say as our two part answer here, one is is I do love um, the serious acting part when I get to do it. I don't do it a lot, but I've just been in a couple of indie films, nothing major. Yeah. But I love to kind of exercise that muscle a lot. Mm -hmm. I really get a lot of it because I think that I feel like I'm kind of phony day to day. Like that's my mm -hmm. life. But getting to step out of that and kind of be another character yeah. like and, and really take it on. That's pretty exciting and pretty fun. But I mean, also like the videos I make, I mean, you can see behind me for those watching, like my green screen is right here. Like I literally make my most of my videos right there. Like, travel baseball right here. I don't leave my have to leave my house. Like yeah, my family's nice. here. Like it's so nice to be able to work from yeah. home essentially in a home office and do that. So like I've got it made. So if, if I, if I've never did anything again, except make videos out of my home office for the rest of my life, that's what, what a blessing yeah. that would be. Um, but to be able to go play characters and do cool things and be in films and then yeah. even the show with Cooper, those things are like bigger goals. And, and I think yeah. that's where we want to go ultimately. And it's kind of, you know, to me, I always think about this because when I started this podcast, like, you know, it's kind of like this, you know, I'm here, you're there and that's what we do. But if I, if it grew, like I, I always thought like, I would love a variety show, like, mm -hmm. like good old, um, Carol Burnett, you know, where yeah. like a mix of Carol Burnett and like Johnny Carson, you know, yeah. where you've got your stage and you can do a whole set and comedy and skits. But then you could have a guest on and you could talk about serious stuff, even politics. I mean, you talk about the world, talk about the things that are going on, but yeah. then break it up with something funny, you know? I mean, and why not? Like, why yeah. can't we recreate there? That doesn't really exist anymore. You know, it doesn't. And and, I, and I'm not just saying this. You would kill at that. Like, you would be so good in that setting. Like, you're so talented because you, you can you can sing, you can you, you can act, you can do the whole show. <laughs> one, woman so show. I one, one woman the tanya joy show is now yeah. uh like, oh, has replaced the uh, jimmy fallon tonight show right 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 um well that's true though like i mean you think of these late late night shows they're doing a great job but obviously the, most of them there's just they're pushing such a narrative that's the part i don't like about it like let's just speak true Exhausted. right like let's not have to constantly push you know, the political narrative, we all have different views. That's okay. That was, that's what makes our world beautiful, quite frankly. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, the entertainment world, we've got to get away in my opinion from only it being pushed for one side of the party because that's, what's causing the division. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's, it's, you know, we've got to get in there and get in the mix and kind yeah. of reclaim some of this, you know, as, as believers, um, as Americans, yep. like we should be in there making, the best stuff that exists. I mean, I thought about Saturday Night Live, another great example of, of uh, a show that's been well done for so many years, really funny segments, but obviously they're always pushing same thing, the same yeah. thing. And, and uh, one time I said, I'm going to start my own and call it Friday Night Live. And it's going to be, um, you know, what we want to make. So I think exactly things are changing. And I think it's making a lot of those types of folks nervous, um, yeah. kind of the Hollywood establishment, some sort of that they're getting nervous because we, people like us, we can pop up from all over the country and right. those other values can, can come up and, and, and be part of, of entertainment and they should be. And I think, um, you and I are just, we're just going to launch our own show now. In exactly. Nashville. Uh, hey, there we go. We just need a venue and then, or, boom. or not. I mean, look at every, look at, I mean, you just go on site. Was it, was yeah. it, uh, did you have a whole big production crew with you for filming that? We did. I've been fortunate, worked with a company called Rated Red out of Nashville. They did all the production work on on the show with Cooper Manning and then the other guests as well. So all I had nice. to really focus on was just being funny and doing my thing. Right. Um, Which makes it a lot easier. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. You know, when I'm here in my, in my office, I'm, like, I'm, the, I'm the shooter, editor, costume yeah. designer, makeup. Yeah, I'm doing exactly. all, all of it. Yeah. I know. So now are your girls funny? Are your kids funny? They, they are funny. Yes, they are all funny, but none of them really at this point have any desire to kind of do what I do or okay. be in the public eye at all or pursue this as a career. My youngest maybe could, she likes to sing as well. So we'll see, but okay. she's also shy. So 
So I don't know. Um, I, yeah. We'll see. But you know, sometimes I, you know, I don't know if you've seen this, but sometimes entertainment people, we could be funny. We could be out there and entertain. I could, yeah. I'm more comfortable and people don't understand this. I'm technically more comfortable on a stage in front of a few thousand people that I really can't see than in like a private party with 30 or 40. I, I hate, I, if I get invited to a house party or where there's like a bunch of people, I won't go by myself. Like, <laughs> I'm with people you. I'm are right like, with what you. is wrong with you? You could go on stage and sing. I'm like, yeah, that's very different. That's real. You know, like, the, you, you know, when you came and saw our show in April, it was one thing to do that on stage. It was another to have to come out into yes. the crowd with all the people to find your friends. That was like, now I got anxiety. Yeah. yeah. It's this, weird. Your show was amazing. You guys were amazing in that, in that show, by the way, that Thanks. I saw in, in Frank. Well, yeah. For people, you know, people who've watched the show a lot, maybe you all have seen the show when we did with Burke Floyd. Burke is the guy is a good friend of both of ours who connected me and Josh. So that was how I got to connect with Josh and you yeah. know, it's networking. It's the way the world works. Right. That's right. That's good. Yeah. I'm with you though. I would much rather um, be in front of a large crowd or even on a film set with, yeah. you know, a bunch of people standing around watching you act. It feels weird, yeah. but I'd rather do that than, than be in a, in a group of 10 or 12 people totally leading some kind of, you know, I'm not a great like leader of Bible studies. Cause I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm nervous. What do I do? But Isn't that you know, funny. Yeah. We're on yeah. Stage somewhere and it's like, woo. It's interesting how that works. So what are some new projects you've got going? What What's next for you? Well, uh, we're continuing with the Josh Mancuso show for a couple more episodes and and some other guests that will be pretty exciting. Um, and then I am, you know what, It's we're about to hit football season in about a month or, yeah, or so. And so I will be all in on football season. So a lot of my videos are attached to football. Um, how colleges Did you chose play? Did you play college football or anything? Well, you know, I played in high school and then oh. I went to a small school called Emory and Henry College mm -hmm. um, and not one to brag, Tonya, but there I uh, redshirted and then got hurt and never saw the field. So, oh, um, that's terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, but I was going to be a legend. I promise I was going to be. I bet so you good. were. Yeah. 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 People small would have been making videos about you, you know. That's right. Oh, good. I'm like, I literally went to the smallest, like non-scholarship school and oh, like couldn't man. even make it. Um, what position so were, were you? I was a wide receiver. Okay. And yeah. you got hurt like in practice? Yeah, hurt, hurt my back. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. You hurt. know, that's a, that sport is tough on the body. Any, I mean, that, that's, it's a tough sport on the body. It's rough. And I love football, but it just, and I'm, I'm glad I don't have boys to an extent because I'm not worried about them playing football and, and right. getting concussions and stuff. And uh, you know who I may need to, and I'm going to say this on the air and then I'm going to send it yeah. to him. You maybe should, we're very good friends with Kirk uh, Cousins. Yeah. Love Have Kirk. You connected with him? I've never met Kirk, but he's very funny too. Yeah. His whole family. I used to babysit him. That shows how old I am. Yeah. Um, I did. I babysat him when he was little. Um, but well, man, you, that, that might be a good one to try. And, and that would, that would really, that'd be awesome to get him on your show. Kirk would be epic. Let's make that connection. Tanya. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. I, I got to do that. Kirk, who's definitely watching the show right now, he's and it's always, I'm sure he's always show. watching my show. Yeah, exactly. yes, he's in. He's going to do it. Um, I had Kirk Herb Street on, a big college football um, personality. Awesome. So I need another Kirk. And yeah, would, you do. He would be it. Yeah, uh, and football. I mean, that would that would be awesome. It's perfect. Wow. Well, yeah. that's awesome. Well, for everybody that is watching or listening, I want to make sure they know where to find you. So mm -hmm. your website is joshmancuso.com. And then they can find you. I mean, you're all over the place. If they go to your website, they can find your TikTok, your Twitter, your Instagram, all those things. Because I so I know you have them right up on the top. I'm actually going to pull it up so we can show people. Thanks. But where's your favorite place uh, to post? Well, I mean, Instagram is where I think I've made most of my um, made my bones on Instagram. I think um, mm -hmm. I like people to go to TikTok and YouTube because I make money there. <laughs> oh, great! Well, that's Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, something, yeah, that's important. Yeah. Not much of a website, you know, it's just kind of, kind of that's it. It's well, just... that's okay. It's, it's, it's what you need. Direct yeah. them to the other spots. So for everybody yeah. that's watching, there's your links right up there. For those of you that are listening, well, I mean, you're not going to be able to see that. So that's okay. Just uh, <laughs> go to joshmancuso.com <laughs> or check the show notes because they will there be, yeah, that link will be in the show notes. So you can go down there's there. There's not many Josh Mancusos out there, you know, so it's mm -hmm. Google. I mean, there's a couple others probably, but um, luckily- now, do you do you tour? Do you do like comedy shows? 
so I have been doing for the past year live comedy. Um, and I've got a few more shows this year, um, mainly private shows like corporate events. I get yeah. asked to come speak at corporate events, which is fun. They, and they, you know, they pay me and it's usually yeah. a great time. Uh, but I'm really trying to be laser focused on video and film. Right. So yeah. that's, that's, that's it. So I won't be doing a whole lot of live shows going forward, but every now and then I'll jump in. Well, the more you film, more film, the more people get to know you, then they may want to have you come and do live shows. You just never know. But if it comes out, yeah, it, it's kind of like in this entertainment world, it, all of it. I know we were talking a little bit about social media, you know, backstage and it's, it's like, I have a love hate relationship with social media. Like I don't go on there. I used to, before I did any of this, I would just go on there and look and look at everybody else's posts and things. And I really, very rarely do that anymore. Um, I kind of, put a post and then leave it. And maybe I'll go back and see if there's a comment and maybe I won't. Cause a lot of times I get nasty comments and I don't want to see those comments. <laughs> I don't so, know who anybody that could possibly leave you a nasty comment. Cause you're the bomb and the things uh, you stand for are awesome. And I'm well, grateful to be on your show. And I, um, I think social media is a means to an end for a lot of, a lot of us, you and me included. And, um, I'm, I'm still a, um, old school. I love the cinema. I love going to movies. I love, yeah. I mean, so, I, I want to be living there one day and, uh, and, and people to see me there not just on social media, but yeah, um, it's been, it's a cool journey. And uh, I always tell people that, um, well, I had a guy send me a, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you this real quick. I had a guy send me a hat in the mail. Um, he's an artist and he, uh, in his art, he like uses words and phrases as part of his art. Mm -hmm. And so he sent me this hat with a little piece of uh, like art on, on the hat. And it said, uh, find out what happens when you don't give up. And I was like, love oh, it, man, that's good. I need that. I need that. And so I, I, I think about that all the time and, and, and folks in our industry, a lot of times it is simply those who don't give up that end up making it nothing wrong with going at this for 10 years and saying, all right, I'm good. I'm going to do something else. But if you, if you're talented and if you work hard and you just never quit, the chances of you, you know, making it are pretty good. Whatever making it is in right. your mind, um, uh, <laughs> that's you, you can do it. That's such a good um, way to wrap all this up because, you know, for people, I, I've kind of shifted with my show and I've been trying to bring more entertainers and, you know, that yeah. kind of a thing. And um, that's one of the questions I like to ask people. And and it's really the thing that as I'm coming into this business and learning and watching from other people, that's the thing everybody says. You just yeah. cannot give up. You're going to have a million no's before you get a yes. And yeah that's the business and that's okay. You, you know, you're called to it. Then you just keep showing up and you keep doing the work and you keep doing the work because eventually the doors will open. And I believe, and you probably, you know, would agree with this. I would think is, I think God looks at that and goes, you're doing the work and I'm going to honor it. You know, it's like, I think of, Absolutely. of, uh, what was it? The, the woman, maybe it was the man. I don't remember. I'm not always the best at remembering Bible stories uh, yeah. that just kept pushing and pushing and kept asking and asking. And finally, you know, the, the result was fine. Just what do you want? Just take what, you know, not, yeah. and it may not have been that type of an attitude. Like I said, I'm not the best at recounting <laughs> Bible stories, but it's the concept is the same as you can't give up. You just got, because we have such, God has given us such amazing power with our mind. And, mm -hmm. you know, if we're doing, if, if we're doing the things he's put in us, like your talent is your comedy, your talent, that's God given. That's not just made yeah. up because you can't just do yeah. that. Like that's a creative gift given to you. So that's when right. you use that talent and you invest that talent, there will be, there will be a growth out of that. So 100% more eloquently than I did. I think I just, no, that was that well said. That. That's so, that's so right. And I think for a long time, I, you always question yourself, like, especially if you're struggling in the industry, you're trying to get certain places and you're like, you're having, you're getting no's and you're getting yeah. things and you start, if you're a believer, you start saying things like, well, maybe this isn't God's will for my life. Totally. Right. And I think I did a Bible study years ago called experiencing God by uh, Henry Blackaby. It was fantastic. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 Totally know and that. he says, Everybody's asking the question, what is God's will for my life? When really the question we should be asking is just, what is God's will? Yeah. And that's it. Right. And so like, and then just join God and what he's doing. So, you know, be an actor, be a comedian, be a firefighter, be a, a teacher, be, be whatever you want to be. Like we can do it, but just, and just join God and what he's doing. And I think that's what we have the opportunity to do is, is do what we love to do and not be too worried about, am I doing the right thing? Like do what you love and, and, um, and, and honor God 
with yeah. it and you will you will succeed absolutely so good oh wonderful so great to meet you and have you on the you show too. and uh, once i get to the nashville area i'm gonna have to drive over where you are and we'll have to do something i don't know something funny yes be kind of fun i can't so, wait to get down here so we can hang out we'll do some fun too. stuff together yeah that will be awesome well so nice to have you on the show thank hang you. tight i'm just gonna wrap this up here y'all thank you so much for joining we're so grateful to you the only reason I do this is to bring you guys something to watch, something that's thoughtful, inspiring, fun, something lighthearted, something to make you think, whatever it might be. Um, and so I'm grateful to you, the listener. Do me a favor, share this to five of your friends. That's how the word and what we're talking about can get out. We are so grateful to you. Thank you for joining us here on the Tanya Joy Show. And don't forget to share. And until next time, bye for now. There's a couple things that I never miss any day ever, and, and one of them is Cardio Miracle. If I could have, I would have started taking this when I was 20. I began taking Cardio Miracle, and as I did that, almost within a few weeks, I could feel a difference in my energy level. Cardio Miracle has been a game changer in my life. Since I've been taking Cardio Miracle on a very consistent basis, my recovery time is amazing. I really want to be a walking testimonial of what Cardio Miracle does for the body. I just feel, I feel good all over when I take it. For me, Cardio Miracle is my future insurance policy for a great life and pushing life like I've always done and feeling great while I'm doing it. Being on Cardio Miracle has created a pathway for me to be normal, to be healthy. I really feel like, like Cardio Miracle has extended my husband's life. It's been amazing. For me as a doctor, Cardio Miracle is a staple. I have seen Cardio Miracle improve the lives of many of my patients with many different types of chronic conditions. This is something that's actually made a huge difference and it's staying that way. It's not just a, a fluke, it's real. Cardio Miracle is one of the best things that ever happened to me because when I was searching, I was able to find it. Cardio Miracle for me has really been a blessing in my life. It's just been a, a special experience for me to be able to have Cardio Miracle. So basically for a 97 year old, I think that I uh, feel a little more like maybe 87. <laughs> Cardio Miracles made it so that I can, I, I can live day to day without drama and trauma. If you want to know how important Cardio Miracle is to me, I've got my family on. You know, I don't know anything more powerful than to say, I have my own family doing this. You know, we want to live our best lives, so I'm doing what I can, and Cardio Miracle is one of the best tools I have on a daily basis. Adding Cardio Miracle, it's like a secret weapon to your health. Everyone should use Cardio Miracle. Cardio Miracle will always be a part of my life. Cardio Miracle for me and my husband has, has saved our life. Literally. I am so in love with this. I want everybody to know because if we don't feel healthy, we can't help other people. Cardio Miracle gives me the boost that I need to tackle all the tasks that I have every single day. It was indeed a difference maker when I got on the Cardio Miracle. I'm achieving things I couldn't do even when I was younger. Cardio Miracle for us, for me, for my family was a lifesaver. Cardio Miracle for me and my family had been, it's just, it's been a miracle. I wouldn't even be functioning without Cardio Miracle. I know for a fact. And so I say, thank you, Cardio Miracle. That's, that's one of those miracles in my life that I'm grateful for. We will never be without Cardio Miracle. Cardio Miracle to me is hope in a glass. When you create nitric oxide, you are igniting the spark of life in the cell. It is the miracle molecule. That's why we call this Cardio Miracle, because of nitric oxide and what it can do for the whole body. When I started my pillow, it was just a problem solution, one product company. 
Well, since then, with the help of my dedicated employees, we now have hundreds of products, some you might not even know about. To get the word out, we're having a $25 extravaganza. Two-pack multi-use my pillows, $25. My pillow sandals, $25. And for the first time ever, our six-pack towel sets, you guessed it, just $25. Our brand new four pack dish towels, $25. And I've never done this before. Premium My Pillows with all new Giza fabric, any size, any loft level, even king size for only $25. And there's so much more. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code for our $25 extravaganza. Order $75 and over. Your entire order ships absolutely free. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Beauty for Ashes with Tanya Joy. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave us a comment below. Lastly, if you've enjoyed today's podcast, share with those who came to mind. Be blessed and remember you were created for such a time as this.